Hello, I'm Ashley Gunn, and I'm reviewing Laurel Hamilton's Anita Blake, The Vampire Hunter series. I had to do a couple things. I kept saying uh, Laurel Blake instead of Laurel Hamilton. So, I wanted to talk to you guys a lot about the series, but more specifically, although it is a vampire series, I wanted to talk to you guys about the shapeshifters and the necromancy because it is out of this world incredibly well written. So, uh, in general, you're going to have Anita Blake. She's a vampire hunter and a necromancer. What that means is that uh, vampires are allowed to be part of society, but if they break a law, then a vampire hunter automatically kills them. They don't like to deal with the police and that kind of stuff. And then she's also a necromancer, and essentially what that is is that if you have an uncle and he forgot to put the will somewhere everyone could find it, then Anita's going to go wake him up from the dead, find out where the will is, and put him back to sleep. Zombies do have an expiration time, essentially, so Anita Blake can wake them up, but she can't let them roam around the streets and stuff. They'll go crazy, so she has to put them back. The incredible thing about the necromancy is that as the series goes on, she is going to grow in power. It is incredible. You will get goosebumps from some of the stuff that happens at graveyards. It is so vivid and just unique, imaginative. Laurel Hamilton did an amazing job with it. I haven't read anything similar to, to it. The way that it's described, the way, I mean, it just you're in the, the graveyard with her. It's beautiful. So the shapeshifters are another incredible part about this series. I think that just in general, the vampires are going to be powerful. They're going to be big. They're going to be uh, bad guys. They're going to be good guys, you know, in general. But the, the shapeshifters is something that I hadn't never read like this before. And I think that when I find something unique, that's what, what draws me in and keeps me interested. So if somebody out there who maybe hasn't read an Animal Shapeshifter series before or who loves Animal Shapeshifter series, this is another great one that you'll probably love. So essentially what she does is you're going to have all sorts of different animals, not just one type. So everything from bears, jaguars, lions, rats, hyenas, swans, you name it, it's, it exists. And she makes them like their own little society. So some might want to be segregated and not have any involvement with others, while others actually form alliances. And they'll decide with each instance when something comes up whether or not they're going to be involved or not. And then sometimes uh, maybe their society is in trouble and then Anita Blake has to come in and help them. It's really unique, especially because when Anita interacts with them, she actually has to learn about their culture, their society, their heritage, and it really brings some depth to those characters. I absolutely loved that. I, I don't want to go into it too much because I would love for you guys to read it. I'd love for you guys to get to experience the same way I got to experience it. But I will just say there's some scenes where, like, there are, there are captives. I mean, the way that it is written is so vivid. You are in the room with them. You smell the room. You see it. You're, you're there. It is just... Laurel Hamilton did an incredible job. So I do want to say just real quick that this is an erotic series, and as the series continues, it'll become more erotic. However, the way that it's written is that their sexuality interlocks with their powers. So as the main characters grow in power, their sexuality is going to play a large role in that. You'll see it when you get to it. <laughs> um, but it, it's one of those things that I just like to give everybody a fair warning for. Anyways, if you love fantasy series, vampires, uh, shapeshifters, necromancers, fancy those types of things this series has it all and has so much of it you'll absolutely love it I mean just it, like I said this was the very first uh, series I read with necromancy and that kind of stuff I've read some sense but it always comes back to the way that this series just transports you into their lives and I just couldn't get enough of it so there's 25 books as of right now if you want to read this series get started because 26 is coming out soon I appreciate all of you guys watching my videos if you like this like it if you have any questions or comments about the series or any recommendations anything like that put that in the comment section if you want my videos every week then subscribe Otherwise, I will see you all again shortly. Thank you so much for joining me.